The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword sets a new benchmark for Zelda, for the Wii, for Nintendo, and for modern gaming in general. With its charming visual style, remarkably intuitive motion controls, and bold gameplay design, this latest entry in the Zelda series is not only hands down the best game on Wii, it's the greatest Zelda game ever created. Knowing the graphical limitations of its hardware, Nintendo wisely chose a visual style that combines the best of Wind Waker's timeless charm and Twilight Princess's darker sophistication. The result is a game that manages to be the most modern, evocative, and cinematic adventure in the Zelda saga, while still suiting the gameplay perfectly. Nintendo has finally found a visual style that embodies the Zelda franchise, allowing its colorful characters to flourish and express the wide range of emotions the plot demands. The characters in Skyward Sword are incredible, ranging from a decidedly more youthful and charming Zelda to the creepy and flamboyant villain Girahim. <laughs> the vast supporting cast is equally quirky and over the top, ensuring your long, long adventure is not without memorable interaction. This game sets a new bar for Nintendo's storytelling abilities. Not only is this a great Zelda story, it's actually a fantastic cinematic experience despite lacking voice acting. Some of the cutscenes here are jaw-dropping, both in their ambition and execution. With Skyward Sword, Nintendo is finally willing to give its iconic saga an origin story, one that has the same stakes as Lord of the Rings, but on a much more intimate and lonely scale. As strong as Zelda's visuals are this time around, they're almost an afterthought compared to what Nintendo has achieved in terms of control, gameplay, and design. Motion control is the way of the future for the Zelda series. After slashing enemies with one-to-one -one sword movement, I never want to go back. The added freedom of combat has resulted in an equal amount of increased strategy. Suddenly, every fight with an enemy becomes more like a chess game than a simple button-mashing exercise. You'll have to carefully study your opponent's movement and defenses to find out how and where you can attack. Enemies don't just block your attacks, they react and they anticipate. To say the implementation of Wii Motion Plus changes the Zelda series is a dramatic understatement. The usage of items and weaponry this time around is also far more thoughtful. You'll be using your entire arsenal throughout the 40-50 to 50 hour storyline. Perhaps even more important than the game-changing alterations to control are the significant revisions Nintendo has made to Zelda's structure, design, and pacing. There are still dungeons in this game, but they're not preceded by 15 minutes of meandering through nondescript countryside. Now challenges that used to be contained entirely in giant enemy layers are spread into the forests and deserts preceding them. The entirety of Link's journey is now packed with obstacles and enemies, keeping the energy high with little time to breathe. The game is constantly challenging you to solve fairly devious problems and negotiate deadly traps, and all of that is before you even enter what would typically be classified as a dungeon. Nintendo also manages to pack a great deal of content into a very small area. Taking a page from the Metroid series and running with it, most areas in Skyward Sword need repeat visits, not just to find extras, but to actually accomplish significant tasks in the overall narrative. What's more, seemingly simple areas in a forest or mountain will eventually reveal vast new areas and even temples that you never knew were there. It's a remarkably fresh approach for the series, as you're rarely doing the same thing twice in a territory. Calling Skyward Sword the best Zelda game of all time is a mighty big thing to say. We're talking about one of the most influential and iconic franchises in the history of gaming, a series that has a standard all to its own because its games are traditionally so stellar. But this adventure has it all. Its graphics are the best we've ever seen on Wii, with memorable characters and great storytelling. In the gameplay department, Skyward Sword is an incredible shift in control and combat, with level design that is stunning in its elegance. It's not enough to say this is the best Zelda game of all time. This redefines the implementation of motion controls, proving that the right application can make a difference. This is the first game in Wii's lifespan to completely and thoroughly prove that Nintendo was right, that non-traditional controls can forever change how we want to play games. For anyone not typically interested in Nintendo games or simply not familiar with them, this is an adventure for the ages with incredible combat and a powerfully moving story. Zelda has once again proven why it remains one of the most important franchises in this industry. <laughs>